Okay, the honest truth is, I love me some acapella music. It started in Glee Season 2, and from there, it just flourished. It's cool stuff, and in fact, you're about to hear some. Pitch Perfect 2. So Pitch Perfect 2 is the sequel to a hilarious movie about college acapella. Yeah, I'm a little biased. And I'll say, I really like the first one. It is one of the funniest modern comedies I've seen, in my opinion. Everything in that movie worked for me. The dialogue was funny, the characters worked well with each other, and the music was great. And from the trailers to the sequel, I was getting that same vibe, so I was like, yeah, this could be a pretty legit sequel. Ultimately, this movie does have some give and take. The jokes in this movie are unfortunately not as funny as they were in the first one. In the first one, the jokes came from the dialogue, like the whole scene was building up to the punchline. But at the same time, the scene was still relevant to the story. In this one, there were a few scenes where there were just punchlines all over the place and there were some irrelevant scenes. I'd say 90% of the jokes in the first one were funny, but only about 50% of the jokes in this one were funny. The big bummer about this was Fat Amy because she was hilarious in the first one. She was the great supporting comic relief character, but in this one, everyone now knows that she is the funny comic relief character. So she has this pretty much irrelevant storyline with Bumper going on, and that was the part where I went, aw, this is dumb. This is bringing the movie down. Also, the story in this movie is a bit convoluted. The main focus of this movie is that the Barden Bellas are going to compete in this international acapella competition. And I got that, but there were a lot of subplots also. Bumper and Fat Amy have a storyline, Haley Steinfeld's character has a story, Becca has another thing going on with this music production internship that she has. It's all over the place, and it never really focuses up until... Well, it never did. Maybe like the last 15 minutes of the movie, but by then it's too late. It's the final scene. The first one had a really simple, straightforward plot. The Bellas are going to learn to be a team, get their shit together, and win the competition with triumph. In this one, it's the sequel, and so everything has to be bigger, and everyone has to have their own personal stories, apparently. It didn't work for me. However, like I said, I am a little biased when it comes to the music, because... That's my thing. And I love the songs in this movie, they were great. I don't know if I like them as much as I like the songs in the first movie soundtrack, but what can I say, I was still singing along with it, I was tapping my foot, I was having a good time with the music. There were some cool cameos in this movie as well, Reggie Watts makes an appearance. If you haven't seen his TED talk yet, go watch it, it's on YouTube, it's hilarious. Pentatonix makes a cameo, everyone loves Pentatonix, I love Pentatonix. Shit, I still find myself listening to their Christmas EP sometimes. I'm pretty sure that's not normal, but... I never said I was normal. The characters in this movie were good too, but it was kind of hard to tell who the main character was. I thought it was going to be Anna Kendrick like it was in the first one, but then the movie introduces Haley Steinfeld's character Emily, and it seems to focus on her almost more than it does on Becca. Before I go on, I just gotta say I have an official new celebrity crush. Oh my god, Haley Steinfeld, you are flawless in my eyes. She's never gonna see this, but on the off chance she does... You maybe want to grab some food sometime? Wow. As I was saying, the movie seems to focus actually, I think, just as much on Emily as it does on Becca. But I didn't really see it working. I liked being with all the characters from the first movie again. Because they're a fun group of people, and I'm pretty sure at this point that they all love each other, and that translates very well on screen. The movie just lacked a main focus. So in the end, I didn't like Pitch Perfect 2 as much as I wanted to. I think the first one was better. But the sequel had enough to keep me entertained for two hours. It was fun, there were some laughs to be had for sure, but there were an equal amount of bad jokes and there was a lack of focus so I will say wait until this movie's at a discount theater then go see it it's not too bad for every trinket's theatrical directorial debut so pitch perfect 2 have you seen it do you like it better than the first one I really want to know so whatever you thought go ahead and leave a comment and don't forget to subscribe